Holy sh! I absolutely love the patina on this truck. So naturally I'm gonna seal it up with some turbo cans. I wanna see how good of a job I can do with the turbo cans. I also wanna see how many of these cans it will take. If you've never seen these before, they have a crazy like two foot spray pattern. Nice. What's up, it's Casey from Casey's Customs. We're back on the turbocharged 71 F100. In this video, we are finishing up our long bed to short bed conversion. We also get some new wheels for the old girl, and naturally, we give her a turbo can paint job. Let's get to work. We are back on the beautiful 1971 F100. I got a bunch of parts in for it, including a bigger, Turbo intake. I kind of hate that this was two and a half. Just, it looks kind of tiny, not a big fan of it. So we went with three and a half. I'm gonna change that out right now. Also, I finally got my NASCAR wheels in and they are giant. We went with uh, 10 in the front, 12 in the back, or maybe eight in the front, 10 in the back. I don't remember, but they are beefy. I put some giant tires on it. I'm very excited about it. I also am gonna finish up my long bed to short bed conversion in this video. I'm gonna get this welded all the way up. I wanna try and do some of the interior stuff too. All that needs welded up as well. And I got some plate for the frame so we can finish getting the frame cut down because you can't just weld it. You need to put a bunch of bracing in there with plate. That's what we're gonna be doing. Very, very excited. By the end of this video, I would like to clear coat this patina, but we have so much to do before we can get to that. But first, let's install this giant turbo intake. That looks freaking awesome. I got my other clamps at the other shop I need to get. Ooh, I also need to tighten that. Where's my... I need to tighten that. Also, I put a nipple on the back of this for my boost gauge. So whenever we do fire this up, I'll actually be able to see how much boost I'm making. Let's be honest. 3.5 inches is more impressive than 2.5 inches. 3.5 is huge. Giant! Check it out. There's a little nipple on the back of these car pads, which is really cool. I didn't know what it was when I first opened it up, but uh, that makes it real nice for boost gauges. So what I'll be able to do is just run my hose now. I don't know, I might be able to go right through there. I might have to drill a hole. I don't know, either way. But I have the gauge now, so we're going to install it uh, probably later today, too. I got to get these clamps, but uh, cool. I really like this truck. We did a giveaway on my shop truck. I don't know, three or four days ago. So I think this is probably gonna be the new shop truck. Very excited. I got a drop kit coming. I don't think it's gonna be here in time for this video. Man, I might need to put the damn wheels on because they look so freaking good. Maybe we put the wheels on, then we weld the bed. Yeah, I'm too impatient not to. <laughs> Ooh, check it out. These just came, I went home for lunch and these came. Oh, I threw one in already. Damn, that sets it up. Oh, those look bitching. Okay. We have got to put the wheels on. I mean, we have to. We absolutely have to. Let's see what it looks like. Before I get these wheels put on, I was going to say I put the clamps on. I got my tube ran. We're just going to have to run it in the dash the rest of the way. But I got it all ready. I really like how that looks. Very clean and simple. This looks badass. Okay, let's get these damn wheels on before we call it a day. good <laughs> wow oh man i love it this front tire is in a hole because my drain's right there so it looks taller than it is i mean as high as the truck is rather but boy that lowering kit's gonna be perfect oh man <laughs> look at the meats out back baby oh freak 
Why am I saying freak? Fuck, I love it. I am so happy with how these wheels look. They look bitchin'. I mean, it just, whenever we get it lower, it is gonna have a perfect like NASCAR look to it. They're just so wide and crazy. They stick out a little bit, but not too much. I didn't want them out too far to where it looks like I needed flares. And I also wanted them in enough that if I hammered it, you know, I'm not gonna run into this very much. So very, very happy with how they came out. They look awesome. They're just huge. They're just massive. I was going to start welding to finish up the bed. I'm going to wait on that. I actually want to finish up this boost gauge first. Like I said, I have this wire all ran. So I just need to drill a hole to go inside the gap. And then we can put the gauge. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. <laughs> we, we have to do some work on our gauges at some point. <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to do that right now, but I do want to get them in there for now. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. I kind of also want to fire it up and see how much boost we can get, but uh, we might not go that far. I don't know. Let's see what happens. So while I was in here messing with stuff, I went ahead, tied up some of my loose wires, put them in a loom, zip tied some stuff. Also, my oil pressure gauge... It had a little plastic line going to it, which was fine whenever the exhaust went out normally. Well, <laughs> the exhaust goes forward now to this big old giant turbo, and I melted it the first day I had it out, and it was spilling oil everywhere. So I got an actual copper line now, so I went ahead and changed that out while I was in here. So we should be good now to uh, hook everything up on the inside. Then we're done, baby. This, you know, gauge cluster we have is just a giant cluster fuck. But that's alright, we're gonna fix it later. Right now I just wanna make sure stuff is working. When I hook the battery up, that gauge should be on, I think? I can't tell yet, so I don't know if it is on. Yes! Sweet. Okay, so we got a boost gauge now, too. Awesome! Cool. Oh, that makes me happy. All right, I don't need to do this, but let's see. Just, you know, let's just fire it up and see what kind of boost we got. Oh, Jesus. I'm a fucking idiot. I, it doesn't even have a gas tank in it right now. <laughs> I was wondering why the fuel pump didn't kick on. Oh, yeah, that's why. Gas tank's over there. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, sometimes you just work too many hours and you start just being really dumb. <laughs> All right, let's weld some shit and finish up this short bed conversion. Oh, God. So, we are running out of time, naturally. It's Christmas. Also, my videos always go all the way to the very end until I need to get them done. What I want to get done in this video is I'd love to get the whole truck clear coated. I love this patina and when you clear it, it just kind of seals it up and it also looks really good. It kind of makes it look wet. I love clear coated patina. I kind of like a satin clear, but you can go a little bit heavier gloss and, and make it look good. We also are going to be painting the roof white. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that all done this video or not, but I'd like to get a start on it. If I can get it clear coated and then the roof painted, we'd be on a really good track to basically finish the truck next week. But I don't know. I got a lot of welding to do. I'm going to just focus on the bed sides. I'm not going to focus on the inside because I have to cut some stuff out and fix some rust back there. But if I can get the bed sides all welded up, that would be awesome. What I want to do is weld them, grind them, kind of Keep it real easy with the grinding so then we can just clear coat right over the top of it and make it look good. I did a pretty good job lining up all these, but some of them I think on the other side have some bigger gaps, yeah. So that's going to be more of a pain in the ass to take some time, but let's see what we can do. Let's get to welding. Also, for the clear coat, naturally, baby, we are going with the turbo cans. I love them. The clear coat is kind of hard to find in those, but boy, when you find them, jump on them because they're good. All right, enough talking. Let's weld. Filling any type of gap in sheet metal is a pain in the ass.
Okay. Driver's side is done. Boy, that does not look bad either. We'll clean up these welds and uh, make them rust before we clear it, but let's do the passenger side real quick. So we're getting ready to do a bunch of welding over here. I know you see a gas tank. You're thinking, hey, that's stupid. Don't worry, think it's full of oil. I'm not sure though, as I'm saying that. Hmm. Fuck it, let's find out. My gaps are a lot better on this side, so I can kind of fly. Ow! This toolbox just went in my ass. Hey, yo, buy me a drink, buddy. Something was on fire, apparently. I don't see it. <laughs> Passenger side is done. Sweet. So I took my time welding it. You saw all the little tack welds and stuff. Now it's time to grind it down. And a lot of people don't know this. You can create just as much heat grinding as you can welding. So when I come in here, to grind all these welds down. I'm using a flap disc, which isn't super aggressive, but it can be, but you don't want to come in here and lean on this shit. You want to kind of just, you know, take it a couple passes at a time. Also, since we're trying to keep the patina, I am going to grind this very, very shallow. Normally, you know, with blending, you would blend pretty wide. I don't want to do that because I want to try and keep as much patina as I can. Also cover glass, obviously. So let's grind some shit. Sweet, that looks great. All right, I'm done for tonight. We'll come in tomorrow and I'm gonna make it rust, kind of blend the brown a little bit, maybe throw a little bit of green paint on it and then we'll shoot her in clear. I do not think I'm gonna have time to paint the roof, but that's all right, we'll do that next video. Oh, I really like this truck. Look at that. She's on actual short bed now, baby. The next day. All right, yesterday we got her all welded up and ground down. It looks great. What I wanna do now is fake some patina. I'm not a big fan of fake patina, but sometimes you have to do it, especially in a truck like this. This is not a super nice truck. This truck will never be painted, at least as long as I own it. For God's sakes, there is a forklift spear in the door, <laughs> but I do want the stuff that I have modified to match. I didn't have to match perfect, but I wanted to match pretty good. So we're going to make it rust a little bit. You can make bare metal rust very fast with vinegar, peroxide, and salt. And then once I get a pretty good little rust going, I'm gonna try and color match it with some greens and some browns. This is not rocket science. I'm actually gonna go into further detail on my second channel. If you wanna go check that out, Casey's Customs 2, all the extras. I'm gonna go step by step. But for this video, I'm just gonna get it done real quick because I wanna focus on getting it clear coated and get this video finished so that we can get it out. So that is what I'm going to be working on right now. Like I said, if you wanna see it more detailed go watch the second channel video i will link it in this video all right we got her mixed up pretty good we got our bottle spraying Let's see what happens look at that look at that already started already started like I said, you can kind of play with it, how much you put on, how much you take off. I'm gonna probably do a couple different coats. Look at that, instant. Now, if you get it super runny, it'll run right off, see? So you actually, I'm actually putting it on too thick, but that's okay, we're gonna play with it a little bit. Thinner over here, we'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna give it, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Check it out. Spray it, it instantly starts rusting, look at that. <laughs> peroxide salt vinegar you can kind of mess with the combination it's basically one to one to one you can put more coats on less coats on all that fun stuff what i'm gonna do while i'm kind of just randomly spraying that and letting it darken up a little bit 
I'm gonna start taping shit off. I absolutely love the patina on this truck. So naturally I'm gonna seal it up with some turbo cans. I wanna see how good of a job I can do with the turbo cans. I also wanna see how many of these cans it will take. If you've never seen these before, they have a crazy like two foot spray pattern. Let's go. Holy shit. <laughs> Let's have some fun. Okay, so I had to do my little clickbait, spray it like a crazy person, but actually we need to tape this thing off before we do that. But I'm telling you right now, just with that little spot right there, boy, she's looking good. All right, let's go. All right, I got my rust pretty much dry and how I want it. It's still a little wet, but not too bad. We're gonna go now with some brown. This is really close. Unfortunately, there's like 10 different browns on this truck, but this one's pretty good. We're just gonna go super light right over the top. We don't want it too thick because we're gonna be sanding a lot of this off. Oh, shit. I just realized I need to tape off my uh, light. Damn it, let's do that real quick. So both of these turn signal lenses are broke. So I'm gonna just clear coat over them, but I don't wanna paint them for now because I do have new ones coming. So I'm gonna just throw a quick little thing over it. Oh, that looks really good there. Now, there is a couple different ways you can do this. You should definitely let this dry, but naturally I'm in a hurry. Um, I got a Christmas party to go to. But whenever you spray this, you can actually kind of dab it with a rag. I've seen guys do that. It comes out awesome. I've never really done it that way. I'm kind of the guy that lets it dry and then sands it. But we might do that a little bit on this one. I got my green. I wish this was a little bit darker. So we're going to be very cute with the green because it's not quite as dark as I want it to be. So if we do it light, it kind of keeps the brown. The brown kind of helps it darken up a little bit. Eh, not too bad. I'll, keep, I'll leave it there for a while. What I'm going to do is turn my... Ooh, that's actually a lot closer than I thought over there. There's so many different colors on this damn truck. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crank my heater up and uh, hopefully let this shit dry. Oh, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? What the hell did I do wrong? Oh, this one's not working great. We're going to spray and then throw it. Holy shit. Holy shit. I don't like that can as much as the others. <laughs> All right, let's let this shit dry. <laughs> All right, this is dry now. Well, dry enough. We switched out our solution. I just got water now. We're going to come in here and lightly wet sand this. Be completely honest with you. I'm not 100% dry, but <laughs> I've let it sit for like an hour. I don't have much more time than that. We're going to kind of just slowly start taking some of this off. Not too much. I just kind of want to get down to the brown. Maybe a little bit of my rust. With this sanding, you can really start to pull in, you know, your other colors next to it and start helping it blend in better. Mm, that's not too bad. It's going to take a little bit more. Keep sanding and we'll see how it looks. All right, check it out. Gonna sand it, it looks pretty damn good. I wish it was rusting a little bit more, so I might spray it again uh, with the vinegar now that I've got the you know green and brown matching pretty good. Not great, it's hard when there's just so many different colors on this truck, <laughs> but it's still pretty good. It doesn't like grab to your eye super hard. If this was a little more rusty, I think it would be perfect. The back lines up great, looks really good, especially whenever you consider this is gonna have gloss over the top of it, it really helps seal it all up. So I think I'm gonna spray a little more of my vinegar solution on it. And then we're gonna wipe it down and uh, shoot it in clear coat. But if you went from where it was earlier, this is just a huge, I mean, it looks so much better. It's not just crazy loud cut line. If I spent more time on it, I'm trying, I'm in a rush. Obviously it's Christmas, so I'm in a rush. I got a party to go to. I'm trying to do all this in a very condensed amount of time. If I had more time, I could feather it a little 
little bit, but I'm okay. It's fine. This truck, this isn't the truck to freak out about, but you can really take your time in getting it looking really good. Like I said, I'll shoot it with a little more of our rust solution, and then I think we're going to spray. I got everything taped off. I was going to tape off the taillights. They're so bad. I'm just going to shoot them and replace them because they're all broke and warped and shit, so... Yeah, man, we did a giveaway on the 55 Chevy truck, so this is going to basically be my new shop truck, so I'm uh, really, really liking how it's coming out. My drop kit's going to set it off, but yeah, let's spray a little more vinegar on it, and then we're going to clear it. I am going to shoot the bedside, this driver's side bedside with clear, so we can kind of get a look at our patina. I'm very happy with how it came out so far, but let's see what it looks like with a little gloss on it. Oh, crap. This is an older can, so it's not spraying good. I have to shake her up a little bit first. That's better. That is perfect. Oh my God, I love it. Wish this rusts a little bit more. It still should, because they can rust from underneath the clear, but uh, <laughs> that's not too bad. All right, we got her all taped off. I got my patina matching in the back where we did the uh, cuts from the long bit of the short bed. It is time to spray. This is the original can. So we're still on the first can. Let's see how many it takes. This one's spraying crazy wide. Holy shit. All right, we gotta get up there and do the roof. I'm gonna go light on the roof because we're gonna be painting the roof white at some point. That's probably all the thicker I wanted on the roof. Two hours later. All right. It's been probably two hours since I've been down here. Let me tell you what happened. I was painting, doing my clear coat, and I was looking through the camera instead of even looking through my eyes, which is a real easy thing to do. I do it way more often than I care to admit, <laughs> but I stepped right there. There's nothing there to step on. And I went down and I run my finger right across this sheet metal and this piece right here might as well be a blade. And I mean, it laid my thumb open bad. And then I fell out after I did it, landed over here. I thought I broke my leg at first, but I was in shock about my hand. So much blood. There was blood everywhere. It was dripping all over the place into there. I was looking for my first aid kit, couldn't find it. Bad, bad, bad. I got it full of super glue now. Probably gonna go to the ER. Uh, I know I need a tetanus shot, which I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm due for one, which sucks because I hate shots. It's the only thing I'm scared of in the world. But it's okay right now. I can move the thumb. Everything's okay. We're lightheaded, but you know, <laughs> you lose a little bit of blood. That sometimes happens. What I do want to do before I end this damn video is untape the truck. It looks amazing. I want to get all this shit untaped so we can get one good look at it. And then we're going to call her a day, obviously. Also, it's freaking Christmas. What kind of asshole has to go to the ER on Christmas? This guy.
This was a giant pain in the ass, untaping it with one hand, but we got it done. I have to say, I am extremely happy with how this truck came out. It looks so good. Oh, also, I was uh, keeping track of cans, and then I, you know, kind of went... <laughs> Uh, let me see. Which one is it? That's my, that's my empty. Where the hell did the other one go? What the hell? Where did the other one go? Um, all right, hold please. I am not joking. I have been looking for 10 minutes. I have no idea where this can is. I don't know what happened in the confusion. I thought maybe it rolled under a car. It's not under any of the cars. I don't know. Either way, there was like half of the can left. So it took one and a half cans to clear coat it. Now I will say... I only went with one coat. I didn't want it super, super glossy. I kind of like a semi-gloss, as you can see. It kind of is, you know, it's glossy, but it's not like laid on there like a, like a real shiny paint job. That kind of gives it the look of, you know, like a sealed patina, but not, not just a caked on paint job, basically. I'm so freaking happy. I cannot even tell you. I think this thing looks amazing. The short bed blended in perfect. The little bit of rust stuff we did, see, it's still gonna rust a little bit. So that is gonna continue to kind of turn this color, which will just be great. I'm, these wheels look perfect. Oh, also, uh, yes, I got my front springs in. My rear shackles are supposed to be in, I think next week sometime. So with the springs and the shackles, I think it's four inches in the front and five inches in the rear. So she should be just sitting pretty. I'll be getting my drive shaft back and hopefully we can button this girl up or at least get her really close in the next video or two. Very, very happy with the short bed job. Next video, we'll finish welding up our frame and we will weld up the inside that we need to, but man, really, really good. Super bummed that my hand hurts so bad, but I really like this truck a lot. Like I said earlier, this is basically going to be my shop truck now because I gave away my blue shop truck, uh, which has been my baby for the last like five or six years. And this is going to basically be the new shop truck. So turbocharged V8. I mean, how can you go wrong? <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching. If you are not subscribed, please hit that button now. Do it for my poor little thumb that I tried to cut off in this video. For the coolest merchandise on the planet, go to caseyscustoms.com. Please like, share, comment, all the good shit they tell you at the end of videos, and check out some more of my other videos. Peace! I love you.